Cheers and welcome my friends. I'm Anotak and we are playing European Ever Solace 4. We're still playing our Dutch campaign on very hard. Welcome back guys. So we're trying to push into Spain down here. Um, we're being attacked by Spanish troops. Um, Spain has some very decent fighting stats. Um, very, very decent fighting stats. And we're not really making a lot of headway in terms of military power. I had to recruit a general too. Um, just because having stacks without generals is generally a pretty risky proposition. Um, so yeah, that needs to happen. I'm pulling those troops back home, I think. So yeah, we're going to help them take out that 25 stack. But all in all, I think this war is lost. Like, uh, Malwa actually picked the proper time for, taking, for attacking Persia. Um, I might actually break that alliance with Persia. Because it, it really hasn't helped me at all. At all. All it's done is pulled me into some nasty, nasty fights. We have 21,000 Spanish troops trying to retake Brunei. Uh, we should be able to deal with them over here. Might have to give this army a general temporarily. Um, and then in the Americas, we have a big British expedition corps over here. I mean, those are all level 8 forts, so it's going to take them a long while to siege them down. Enough time for me to march my troops down there. Uh, and then we have uh, Spanish troops over here. Um, I sent my fleet um, over here to kind of pick off these Hispanic fleets. And uh, yeah, just generally trying to do as much damage as possible. There's a army of Spanish Louisiana. We're fighting another one over here. Um, growing business of ivory carvings. Our efforts to maximize trading profits in the area of Jolof has borne fruit in the province of Kayo. Entrepreneurs have managed to greatly increase the output of ivory carvings and have found new markets in our capital for the processed goods. Okay, going to base production. Great, absolutely great. Okay, we should win this battle here, I hope. Trading in cloth now, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. Now, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, right. So there are there are new new stacks coming. So we might lose some of these gains again. Um, what concerns me even more is that New Holland is really not aware of the massive amount of troops that are standing against us. They're just running out there, going wild. Mm, trying to retake this fort. Let's hope that that is uh, a success. We also need to win this battle and then march that whole stack down south again. Okay, that was a complete stack wipe at least. So that's something. That's also going to push their war weariness a lot. Um, right, but we also need to rest. We need to rest at some point. So I'm actually going to let them march down without the force march. Just so that they can recover. This general, interestingly enough, actually has plus 10% movement speed, so he's really going to be extremely fast. Uh, 3k New Holland troops. Yeah, those are all coming down again. I don't like it. But what am I going to do about it? Not sure. Hmm. I mean, as long as New Holland manages to not engage these troops i'm okay with it but it might be better to just tell new holland to be supportive instead of running around like a headless chicken so new holland you're gonna try to stick to you're gonna try to stick to friendly armies this is a problem but we deal with that later down the line i think we i think we're not really able to fight against the crazy amounts of power that are standing against us. Okay, we're going to make this one uh, the one where the enemies are sticking to, so we don't suffer any attrition. Oh, uh, the, the, the vassals they are going to stick to a small army. Let's hope they take out some of these smaller ones. Might be too much micro what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to solve this problem here. There's another Hispaniolan fleet getting wrecked. Okay, they lost the heavy, they lost the light. Those battles are just not decisive enough for my taste. We're not really able to do much against them. Okay, that one is committed. So let's just destroy those two transport ships then. 
I'm not happy that they're still able to land troops. That's just the one downside that a human has. We can't have our eyes everywhere. I mean, I could probably just micromanagement, uh, micromanage that day by day by day, but I'm not sure if that would be very interesting to watch. Hmm. Okay, so that's that's a thing. How's this looking? Yeah, we won that battle, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm gonna march my troops out of here. I I don't see Persia really making a good defense, and we can't stand against that amount of troops. So. We'll take him. We'll take him like this. Like we, we station our troops on the other side of the strait and defend if they're actually coming for us in a more forceful manner. Uh, this place looks like it's gonna fall pretty soon, so I'm gonna activate the force march and go against them. Um, these guys. Hey, we managed to capture a ship. Uh, where are you? Go to. We should be able to force that fleet out into the open once we take the province. So let's hope that happens. Hello there. New Zealand is actually engaging here. Very good. Very good, guys. My mercenary army is being built. Up in the north, the uh, situation is the most dicey, I'd say. Because this, this new Hollandish army is at a real risk of being just absolutely crushed. These guys aren't really being reinforced anymore. More like losing troops. And we have a disease outbreak over here. Always nice to see that. We might switch this around. This general has no siege pip. This guy has two siege pips, so I guess that's okay. Yeah, and now New Holland is kind of closed off and will probably lose its army if I don't do anything. Quite sure why that is not giving us a uh, zone of control. It should. Or, or rather, them. Hey, you captured four more ships. That's good. So, another another fleet has been crushed. These guys are moving into southeast Saragossa Sea. I'm not going to be able to catch them, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's unfortunate. There's a British Colombian fleet. the better what are you doing I don't quite get it but well, at least we're at least we're managing this I want to see this army crushed and dealt with like they're sieging that stuff back again it's not at all what I want Oh yeah, it's probably the north that is gonna uh, lose us this war, I think. If that is a thing that can happen. So what we'll do is, we'll detach the mercenaries. And what we'll do is, actually, we'll detach the mercenaries apart from one guy. This dude. Hmm, no, doesn't work. Okay, this is fine. Attach the mercenaries. 
I want the mercs under the command of another guy. Okay, what did we lose? Battle of Batavia. Really? Freaking hell. Okay, so Bengal actually managed to do that. We won Mater. So these guys are fleeing, sure. Gonna stop with the force march so we can recuperate our troops. Mm -hmm. How's this looking? Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. We have to reinforce the Danes here. This might be a close one. Depending on the... Well, Danish have 140% discipline. So just like, Sp uh, just like Spain. That's okay, I'd say. I'm kind of bottlenecking them and forcing them to throw their troops against us, which is good. I think. Up here in the north, though? Yeah, Holland actually... New Holland actually managed to find the, the spot where they can slip through. That's good, so... Okay. And now we'll, we'll pull the Forsaken Firstborn out. What? Really? We need 30 regiments for this? Okay. We'll leave you, like, another another 20. That's what we're gonna leave you. Just so you can actually engage. And now we only have mercenary guys in this army. And that should kind of do things for us. Yeah. See, just progressing rather nicely now. Hmm. They, they're taking that back, which also keeps them busy. Uh, definitely... I should not lose Brunei. Uh, that's that's important. Uh, merge these dudes. We're gonna need another general here. Adrian de Hultman. Uh, sure, why not? So, force march down here. Chop, chop, guys. Gotta get there. Gotta do it now. Hey, we actually managed to stop these guys from sieging the place down at least. So that's something. Still building more infantry units. The time might have come where we just start using only mercenary infantry instead of our own. Does not make a difference uh, for the combat stats. I'm gonna stop one of these armies so they don't attrition themselves to death. I'm gonna be a little bit mindful of the attrition here. Okay. This could actually be a wipe if we manage to like get enough troops in there. Nuevo Madrid is being occupied now. And the question is, how do we engage those big stacks in the south? That is the big question. Like I have those 100k, but it's not enough to... Okay, we're going to come down here. Gonna help New Holland. Let's reinforce them. They're thinking about it, but they're not doing it. They're not ready to pull the trigger. That's British Columbia. If they're down here, that means they're not busy sieging down Canada or my my Canada, which is good. New Holland is taking a British fleet down here. Also good. Um, what's my fleet doing? Trying to catch the Colombian fleet, which we're managing not at all. So just come up here then. Mm, might be able to transport some troops around still. So is this going to be a stack wipe or what? Like how long are those Colombian stacks going to survive? Won the Siege of Labul. Very good. 
Very, very good. That's beautiful. Okay. We're gonna stop the attrition. Um, we have to let them recuperate. This is gonna be back. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just hoping that France will direct some of their attention down here. They might not. They might definitely not. And they still hate me. So I'm, I'm in their lands. Might have just as well attacked France, actually. The Commonwealth is in this, so that wasn't really an option. Still not looking too great. I mean, at least I'm relieving some of the pressure that uh, they, they can direct their attention towards the Ottomans. Hmm. This is bad, though. Okay, we're going to have these guys force march out here. I'm going to have these guys force march out there. Just deal with it. How are we looking? Couldn't we, like, make a second try or something? We don't have a ton. I don't have a ton of morale. But I want those guys kicked out. They can't siege the, the place right now, but at some point it has to happen. We can, we can still sacrifice some of our professionalism for manpower, so that's good. Oh no. Oh no, so this is not good. Guys, we gotta run. Move it. Hmm, I have plenty of... Plenty of places to fight. Maybe we should actually set Denmark to be supportive again. Run! 11th of June. 18th of June. We might actually lose this before it happens. And we had a wall breach there too. God damn it. Held out a little bit longer. 17, 18. Holy hell, that's close. And 23rd. It's definitely not what you want. Like, those are very costly fights, because they go on for a long while, they're not decisive or anything. Okay, we'll, we'll take Spanish Louisiana here. I'm gonna allow these guys to attach. Well, let's see how that ends up. those regiments so they have more fighting power more oomph what Holland is just running away now New Holland sure we won that though and uh, that means force march down south pronto hmm the other guys are force marching in so this is gonna be a rough battle they're gonna be there in a couple days. We should still be able to do a lot of damage to this army before they arrive, but I doubt that we're actually gonna be able to win it. I wish there was a full sail thing, but I mean, due to the nature of sailing, that's not really a thing that you can do. Okay, we won against Spain over here. Should also be able to displace Bengal now. So let's make that a reality. Right? Yeah, we destroyed that Spanish army. That's good. We are 5% towards winning, which means nothing at this point in time. Uh, we won that battle. Okay, great. So Denmark seems a little bit lost what they should do now. So Denmark... This is your thing. I'm going to start sieging that one down. And we're going to help you. France is taking back Bjorn. 
Ooh, we won this one. Very good. I wonder why they gave up. Or did we actually fight them down to the max? I don't, I don't know, and I don't, I don't really care. As long as we keep winning these fights in America, everything's good. Okay, yeah, we have to take these guys on. There's no, there's no way around it. They've just taken province after province. Or at least undefended province after pro under, after undefended province. This does not make me happy at all. At all. Maybe these are the more important threat? I think they are actually. So we'll do that. We'll first deal with the British with our army and then we'll do then we'll do the rest. Why are these guys still not wiped? I don't get it. These dudes are ready. Mm. Let's have a look. Mm. Well, we're not evening things out. New Spain still has 70,000 infantry alone. Hispaniola has 35. Spanish Louisiana 55. 13 colonies is out of the race. They have no provinces anymore. British Columbia also almost out of the race. They only have 2k. Like, they're, they're pretty much taken out. But North America is just crazy. And since the AI has very cleverly sent troops down here, I can't really profit from the fact that I finished South America here. That doesn't really help us in terms of projecting power up north. Which is a damn shame. Okay, I'm gonna park that, park that army over here. And get a stack wipe here from Bengal. They marched all the way over here just to engage these troops. And now they're gonna die alone. Far away from home. Yeah, this is happening though. There's no real way for me to counteract it because I don't have the fleet strength to do it. This is nasty. Still not willing to let me out, eh? So if I, if I give up Persia, give you some money, yeah, we're going to throw Persia to the dogs. We've got fatter fish to fry. Oh, that even saves that Bengal army. Sure, whatever. That's fine. I should have probably crushed that. Then I wouldn't have had to pay so much. But I really want to concentrate what I have on this fight. What? Ooh, sending these guys in, eh? Okay, then. How's that? Okay. So we're taking that that Colombian that Colombian army out. They should have no place to run anymore, I hope. I think. There are still fleets around of Spanish Louisiana though. Okay, these guys are forced into the move. What what on earth can you be thinking? Like we have a we have a hundred and fifty thousand in here. You're gonna get absolutely crushed. Okay, we won that, and they're still not, they're still not dead. It's incredible. Okay, that was a wipe. And that was just a wipe because they didn't really see fit to bring enough men. If they're so heavily outnumbered, they just get wiped. 
It's fine. Okay. Okay, New Holland. You could actually make yourself useful. Like, you haven't been really attaching to anyone. Uh, maybe you can just start sieging things down then. I guess. What's New Luxembourg doing? New Luxembourg is set to siege already. They're done, though. So, let's hope they do something useful. It looks like, it looks like we might win America, actually. This is not too bad. We're not doing too shabbily here. Can probably siege that place down while we're at it. Force march everywhere. This still needs to be dealt with. And they have a breach already, because of course they do. It's happening in Europe. Okay. Not bad. Run, guys. Run. Well, have they, have they cleaned up the... Oh, yeah, they cleaned up the Danish army. Shit. Okay, that happens. I guess that happens. We're done... Done converting. Converting? Maybe... We're way above our force limit here. We're paying 118 ducats each month. Because we're over. Slack and recruiting standards is going to be the thing that we want to do later down the line. Cannibalizing our army professionalism. I guess we're going to tell Denmark to be supportive then. We're going to subsidize their armies, I guess. So now we're seeing the full strength of the Spanish armies. Oh no, oh no, oh no, hell no. Not good, not good guys. We have that breach, but we just seem unable to take it. Yeah, we need, we need every available man here. And even then it's gonna be dicey. Not to say you're horrible. Okay, we won that and we won the Battle of the Yucatan Channel. These guys are moving to Rio Bravo. Oh, they're trying to get away. What? Okay, fine. Mm. This is happening. We could probably split these guys, but they're mercenaries, so their losses don't really factor into the equation much. This also happened, so that means almost through. I'm gonna try to fully occupy this place. Just because I don't want them to be coming back and the AI seems to be not able to really stop them from coming back. Once we've done that, we're gonna try to come down here, take out that British army. What are you doing? New Zealand? Are you are you gonna engage the Spanish? Sounds good. <laughs> if we lose that one, our continental battle is pretty much over, I'd say, because we won't be able to come back from that one. One, two, three, come on, reinforcements. Four. Oh, holy hell. Spain is throwing everything they have in there. That sucks big time. Guys, they're losing 6,000 each tick. And now it's our turn to do things. We have no leader in this. What the? Did we lose all our generals? We're getting just slaughtered here. We have the wall breach. We're so far towards winning this. Denmark is the leader in this. I'm not sure why. Are we gonna get wiped here? That is not good. 
That is not good at all. 113,000 men is what we need to reinforce our army. So we're basically at zero manpower at this point. Damn it. Okay, let's take 72k. Problem is that it's also going to cause our, our troops to fight worse. Like currently we're doing 5% more land fire damage, 5% more shock damage as we start to cannibalize this. Obviously that goes down, which is not great. How's this? At least we should be able to win here. All right. North America should just be a route at this point. Like we've, we've beaten their troops heavily. So we'll just siege everything down, wait for them to capitulate, I guess. They still have armies up here that we could fight down. Oh yeah, there are some. Do we just do we just run after them? If I force march, can I catch that? I can't. Hmm. Fine. We'll stay in there then. That's that's okay. Oh, okay. Now I get what they did. So they've they've committed those armies to the south. That's only level two four. That won't hold them long. But we can take up the north. That is okay. We'll, we'll do that. Um, that's a 43k Dutch Caribbean army. Are you going to engage those those Spanish? Moving into Para. Well, let's see what New Zealand is worth. So all my troops are here. We have to regain a bunch of strength. Land movement blocked by hostile fault. Which hostile fault? Okay, yeah. We're going to send everyone to recover. Denmark is back home trying to recover. This was not great. That that adventure down here did not go down well. No objective. I mean, our our initiative kind of lost power because France was like, okay, I guess we're done. We're gonna go then. And they they decided to fight the Ottomans over here. Don't think they're gonna be able to win that war, but at least. Great Britain is no longer interested in fighting this much longer. The question is how much are we going to be able to get out of this war? We've already committed considerable resources to this. I don't think I want to get out of this. Whoa! Okay. I'm going to help up here. I'm going to use these guys to just carpet siege a little more. But yeah, I guess I have to end the episode. I think we did okay here. Um, North America could be within our grasp. I actually need to take that 100k mercenary stack and just go and wipe armies as much as I can, I guess. Um, South American armies, we kind of have to deal with later down the line. They're losing, they're losing a bunch of men. I, don't, I doubt that they have a lot of manpower left. Um, yeah, and then South America, we will have to deal with uh, those British troops that are sieging down this place. Uh, I'm going to force march our troops down, try to take them. Um, why are you not taking on the Spanish troops? I'm not sure why, but they should in time. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye bye.